Hi my dear students, welcome to students reference channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get notifications for the upcoming videos. And in this video, we are going to solve the chapter triangle and its properties from your workbook. First topic, choose the correct option. 1. In a right triangle, c square equal to a square plus b square. The hypotenuse will be dash. The answer is, the hypotenuse is c. So the option is c. 2. The angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. What is the measure of the smallest angle? We know the sum of the three angles of the triangle are equal to 180 degree. So now we have to add these three. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. So 9x equal to 180 degree. The given ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 4. So 2 plus 3 plus 4 equal to 9. That is equal to 9x. So 9x equal to 180 degree. That means the sum of the three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So x is equal to 180 divided by 9 equal to 20 degree. So 2x equal to 2 into 20. That means 2 is the smallest value. So the smallest angle is 2x. 2x equal to 2 into 20 degree equal to 40 degree. So the answer is 40 degree. C is the answer. 3. In triangle PQR, S is the midpoint of QR. Then PS will be dash. The answer is B, median. 4. If all the three angles of a triangle are equal, then the measure of each angle is. All the angles are equal means it's an equilateral triangle. So each angle is equal to 60 degree. 5. Which of the following triplets cannot be the angles of a triangle? So, the sum of the three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. If it's not equal to 180 degree means the given option cannot be the angles of a triangle. So, we have to add the, these three angles. Okay. So, if we add the angles of option B, we get 181 degree. So, this is not equivalent to 180. So, the answer is B. 2. Fill in the blanks. 1. In a dash triangle, two of its sides are its altitudes. The answer is right angle triangle. So the answer is right angle triangle. 2. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is dash than the third side of triangle. It should be greater than. So the second answer is greater. Third one. Exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its dash opposite angles. Interior opposite angles. 4. The sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. And in third problem, first one is find angle PRQ. So angle PRQ, you have to find this one. If angle PQR equal to 30 degree and Angle RPS equal to 80 degree. First we have to mark these two angles. Angle PQR. PQR is 30 degree. And angle RPS. RPS is 80 degree. Now we have to find this angle. And this problem is very very simple. And here... RP is 80 degree is an exterior angle. We know exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior 
angles. We take this angle as x. So according to exterior angle property, angle RPS equal to angle PQR plus angle PRQ. So RPS equal to 80 degree and PQR equal to 30 degree. PRQ equal to X. So the value of X is equal to 80 minus 30 equal to 50 degree. So our required angle PRQ equal to 50 degree. And we can use another one method. We can find this angle. According to linear pair, then we can use angle sum property to find this x. We know these two angles, so we can easily find this. But this is the shortest method. And problem 2, find x from the given figures. And this is the given triangle. It is a right angle triangle. And one side is 4 cm, another side is x and hypotenuse is 5 cm. So according to Pythagoras theorem, x square plus 4 square equal to 5 square. So x square equal to 5 square minus 4 square that is equal to 25 minus 16 that is equal to 9. x square equal to 9 so x is equal to 3. So the answer is x is equal to 3 centimeter. And B, this is the given triangle. One angle is 50 degree and another one angle is X. And these two sides are equal. So, it is an isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. Likewise, these two angles are equal. So, this is X means this also X. So this also x. So according to angle sum property, x plus x plus 50 degree equal to 180 degree. So 2x plus 50 equal to 180. From that, we have to find the value of x. So it's an isosceles triangle. So angle B equal to angle C. And according to angle sum property, x plus x plus 50 degree equal to 180 degree. So 2x equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree. So 2x equal to 130 degree. Therefore x is equal to 65 degree. So the value of x is equal to 65 degree. And problem C. So in this triangle one angle is 47 degree and another one angle is 52 degree. And we have to find the value of x. So this is also very simple. According to angle sum property, we have to add these three angles. That angle is equal to 180 degree. So, we can easily find x. So, according to angle sum property, x plus 47 degree plus 52 degree equal to 180 degree. So, x is equal to 180 degree minus 99 degree. So, I divide those 99 degree as 90 degree plus 9 degree. So, 180 minus 90 is 90. 90 minus 9 is 81. So, x equal to 81 degree. So, to cross check your answer, you add these three angles. 47 plus 52 plus 81. It should be equal to 180 degree. Okay, whether if you want to check your answer, whether your answer is correct or not, you just add these three angles. 47 degree plus 52 degree plus 81 degree. That should be equal to 180 degree. 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 0 degree. Carry over 1. 8 plus 1, 9. And 9 plus 9 is 180 degree. So our answer is correct. And problem D. One angle is 45 degree and another angle is X. And this angle is 80 degree. And this is not an exterior angle. Exterior angle means the angle should be here. Okay. First we name the triangle. I name the triangle as A, B, C, D, E. So according to vertically opposite angles. 
okay angle d a e equal to angle b a c that is equal to 80 degree so now this angle is 80 degree so we have two angles of a triangle so we have to find the third one so according to angle sum property in a triangle ABC 80 degree plus 45 degree plus X is equal to 180 degree so X is equal to 180 degree minus 125 degree so X is equal to 180 minus 125 I divide 125 120 plus 5 degree so 180 minus 120 is 60 degree 60 minus this 5 is 55 degree so the answer is 55 degree so to cross check your answer you add these three angles 80 plus 45 plus 55 it should be equal to 180 degree 4 answer the following 1 a 15 meter long ladder reached a window 12 meter high from the ground on placing it against a wall what is the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall so first we draw the ground Next, we draw the wall and we fix the window. This is our window and its height is 12 meter from the ground. This is our ground and this is window. This one is wall and the ladder is placed like this. This is our ladder. And its length is 15 meter. So now we are going to find the distance of the foot of the ladder. This is the foot of the ladder from the wall. This is our wall. So we have to find this distance. So we take this as x. So it forms a right angle triangle. Okay. So we can easily find the answer by applying the Pythagoras theorem. So according to Pythagoras theorem, x square plus 12 square. x square plus 12 square equal to hypotenuse square, 15 square. So x square equal to 15 square minus 12 square. That is equal to 15 square is 225 minus 12 square is 144. So if we subtract 5 minus 4 is 1 and 22 minus 14 is 8 so x square equal to 81 that is equal to 9 into 9 okay so the value of x is equal to 9 centimeter so the distance between the foot of the ladder and the wall is 9 centimeter and this is 9 centimeter Second problem, two angles of a triangle are equal and its third angle is double of the equal angle. Find the measure of the three angles of the triangle. First, we draw one rough triangle. First one is two angles of a triangle are equal. So, it's an isosceles triangle that means these two sides also are equal so these two angles are equals I am taking this as x okay and its third angle is double of the equal angle double means two times so this angle is 2x find the measure of the three angles so we have to find angle a angle b and angle c so according to angle sum property the sum of these three angles are equal to 180 degree so we can easily find the value of x so according to angle sum property angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal to 180 degree so that is equal to 2x angle a is 2x 2x plus x plus x equal to 180 degree so 4x equal to 180 degree therefore x is equal to 180 degree divided by 4 so 4 ones are 4 
फोर्टी फै डिग्री एक्स इज ईक्वल टू फोर्टी फै डिग्री सो द्री आंगल आर् आंगल एक्वल टू टू एक्स दट इज ईक्वल टू टू इंटू फोर्टी फै डिग्री ईक्वल टू नई डिग्री अंड आंगल बी ईक्वल टू एक्स दट इज ईक्वल टू फोर्टी फै डिग्री अंड आंगल सी ईक्वल टू एक्स दट इज ईक्वल टू फोर्टी फै डिग्री सो नई डिग्री फोर्टी फै डिग्री अंड फोर्टी फै डिग्री आर द्री आंगल आफ द ट्रयांगल third problem if one of the angle of a triangle is 85 degree and the other angles are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 find the angles so first we draw one triangle and mark the given values they have given one angle is 85 degree here i am taking angle a as 85 degree and the other two angles are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 so one angle is 2x and other angle is 3x and here i am taking b as 2x and c as 3x according to angle sum property 85 degree plus 2x plus 3x equal to 180 degree so 5x equal to 180 degree minus 85 so you divide this as 80 degree plus 5 degree okay so 180 minus 80 is 100 100 minus this 5 is 95 degree so 5x equal to 95 degree so x is equal to 95 divided by 5 equal to 19 degree we have to find the value of 2x and 3x so 2 into 19 that is equal to 38 degree and 3x equal to 3 into 19 degree equal to 57 degree so angle b equal to 38 degree and angle c equal to 57 degree so my dear students today we have solved worksheet problems i am going to upload more videos for class 7 maths if you want any videos on any other maths topic you please mention in the comment box i will upload that videos if you like this video please like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you